uh, one person said, I specifically need help with emotional regulation. I find that I'll get stuck in an emotion, usually irritation or anger, and I have a hard time shaking it off, says Elizabeth. It's kind of like you get on this hamster wheel and you're going around and you can't like get off to the water thing, you know, <laughs> that the hamsters are feet or something. So one of the things that um, we can do when we're emotionally regula dysregulated is have a very clear, very simple three-step, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do this. Um, and I think that that's helpful. And I would put that on some post-its in different places in your life. I'd also encourage you to start meditating or doing yoga or something that helps you regulate your system. So maybe what you want to do in that moment is do some alternate nostril breathing. I know I've talked about this before. It's from yoga. You breathe in. You breathe out. If you're in a public place and you don't want to do that, you could put your hand on your belly and breathe into your hand. Um, I did it, I said going to the bathroom, washing your face, washing your hands, um, getting a drink of water can always be helpful. Just change your, your location. Um, uh, uh, when people get emotion overwhelmed and irrationally angry, they they feel to, they feel like um, they they have no control. And when you what you can't stand that feeling, right? It's a very scary feeling for kids. They they can surrender to that feeling, but they hate it. Like they're terrified, right? Um, uh, but they don't know how to stop. Adults don't like that feeling either, and they also don't know how to stop. Except with our fully matured brain, we have a few more coping skills. So instead of going into a shame spiral when you're dysregulated, you look at your, your little tips and try to do one of those things. I'd encourage you to make a playlist of songs to play when you're angry, things that might help you sort of like dance it out or walk it out or just sing it out alone in your car at the top of your lungs or songs that would calm you down. That can help as well. Um, and someone else wrote, uh, I've lo uh, lose letting go of what we can't control. And I think this is a really good thing for us to end on because a lot of us um, can't, you know, we feel like sometimes we can't control our children. And um, you try to be compassionate. You try to remind them. You try not to lose your temper. And you're human, right? This compassion has to start with yourself. So um, this person wrote, I have lost my two outlets for mindfulness that keep me sane in normal times. Also due to vulnerability, status of my husband and my elder daughter, I've been responsible for all the food shopping for the household. This has meant I have to navigate supermarkets and the idiots that populate them. The experience has been terrifying and traumatic. I need help learning how to let go of what we cannot control. This is very tough with the th emotions of ADHD and extreme circumstances. I feel injustice deeper and angrier than most people. Um, letting go of the anxiety, anger, and frustration is particularly hard, even if you know you cannot do anything to stop the trigger from occurring. And that's right. You, you, it, it's very, very frustrating. And it's hard. I'm not saying this is easy. When we are angry like that, it's often a combination of not just being triggered and, you know, having a quick reaction, being provoked, but it's also about powerlessness. And powerlessness is frightening. It's uncomfortable. It's frustrating and it's confusing. So instead of aiming to let go of control, which to me is a completely unrealistic goal, soften your grip. You know, instead of saying, I have to let it go, just loosen a little bit. You can hold on, but just loosen a little bit. Um, so um, uh, I also wanted to say um, that things are really unjust, especially right now. And um, they're unjust in terms of our, the COVID. There's, they're unjust socially in terms of uh, economics, racial injustice, um, ho housing, food insecurity. There's a lot of injustice. And it, is, it, it makes us angry and rageful and powerless. 
We can't stop these triggers from occurring, just like we can't stop our kids being triggered by things. All we can do is adjust our reactions to it and intervene so we don't feel, um, so we don't launch into shame and humiliation. Because when you launch into shame and humiliation, it's not going to teach you the skills you need. Give yourself time and space and specific things to do when you are triggered and help your kids with that also. This is what will help us uh, accommodate to the loss of control that we're experiencing right now and to managing our anger. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please, if you uh, need more resources, go to attitudemag.com. Um, and their co their COVID virus the excuse me forward slash tag forward slash coronavirus resource area as well as the rest of their wonderful resources that are available um, to everyone. I would also encourage you to um, head over to my uh, website www.drsharonceline.com where I have a number of uh, resources um, about anger in particular that you can deal with. Um, check out um, my cart my recently released uh, ADHD solution card deck which is a great tool for dealing with anger because there are solutions at your fingertips you can just pick one and try it thank you so much for joining me